You pick on me. It's me commenting on it is not picking well, on Well, I take it on picky. I take it as picking so I Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a kind of get to know me. Are you seriously laughing through this intro? <laughs> I get to know me and meet my husband, this dude right here, Christopher. What's up, y'all? Be normal. Anyway, so we're gonna. I'm going to do. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. I have okay. So poor girl, me. I have a nervous laugh sometimes, and I'm sorry. And he laughs at inappropriate times. Like when Liam busted his head open. <laughs> I was laughing. So I'm going to. I, We've had a lot of new subscribers, which I'm so blessed and so excited about, but I kind of wanted to do something to where you guys can get to know us more and get to know my family. He's going to be doing more vlogs with us. I thought you were laughing. More vlogs. So I wanted to, to get to know him. His name is Christopher Charles. Christopher Charles. Yes, Mr. Prince Charming. And um, we are going to do how we met. So I was going to let you do this video. Jeez. Okay. See, see how well he remembers things, and I will probably sleep <clears throat> in because my memory is on point when it comes to certain things. So, go ahead. She remembers things from conversations when we, like literally the day we met, she can tell you the time and what she was wearing, and it's ridiculous. But I can't remember to get milk at the grocery store. Or to tell me there's no gas in the car. Or to tell me there's no gas. No, I had to get some this morning before well, I was, taking the kids to okay, school. Okay, yeah, but you have to remember, I told you, I promise you, I saw it, and I thought, you know what, Bella doesn't want me to take her driving, so you can just take her. That would be, a, <coughs> in my mind, I was like, that would be a good way. Is it because she thinks I'm a better driver? She says, she, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> She's over there going. No, I don't want to know that you exist? To know that you exist? Yes. <laughs> Why would you say that? Okay. Um, um, so, well, let me first start, start with this. Let me first start with this. So, we met. Wait, actually, you get the date when we met. July 11th? July 2nd. 2nd. 2008. Eight. <laughs> July 2nd, 2008. Yes. And... <clears throat> We were, I worked at a um, dist quality distribution, which is a trucking distribution company. Um, and she would be um, in was, contact with the drivers, and she would. It you would don't have to tell them all of that. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to see what I remember. No, 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 no. Um, so I worked at customer service, and then I did uh, like tr driver relations. And I, um, on this particular time date, I. I was the person that would kind of jump in and help people when they needed help if someone needed help at the front desk. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so I just happened to be at the front desk that day. And what's very important to remember about that is she was helping um, the lady who normally was at the front desk because it was lunchtime mm -hmm. and the lady was going to a late lunch. It was like one o'clock and she wanted to go to lunch and this pretty lady was trying to be helpful and she said kind. she was being conscious of the I can go cover the front desk while you go to your lunch. Yeah, sure. I'll cover the front desk. No problem. I in, don't sit still very long. In front. walks Kool-Aid man. Right. He, he worked for an AC company and him, his father walked through or walked in and they can't, I can't let them in the back. Um, they were looking for a certain guy. We can't say his name. Okay. They were looking for a certain guy and I was calling him and he was at lunch and I was like, Okay, I'm like well, you, I can't, I can't give you access to the to the back because he's not there, and so in the meantime, um, you can do the rest now. Um, my father seemed to uh, think that I needed help, apparently, with um, introducing myself to girls or getting to know girls, or whatever the case may be. Come to find out that this was a common thing that when they would go. To companies, to when they would come to companies, and his father if, would. Number say, one, I didn't need help. He just. No, I don't think he needed help. Did that because. No, if, he, if his father saw someone that he thought was attractive, then he would kind of like, you know. So we saw her, and she had her little southern, southern drawl on her voice, 
her pretty red hair. I tone it down a lot because I people I don't I, I feel like people pick on it. Like I, when I moved here, I didn't know I had an accent, and people kept saying like, "Where are you from?" And we were like, my mom and I were like, "What are they talking about?" I had no idea that I talked differently, and I can tone it down a lot because I don't. You pick on me. It's me commenting on it is not picking. Well, on I it. take it on picky. I take it as picking. So I can't. I I try to like calm it down. You know, if I'm around my sister and my mom. I was attracted to it when I first met you. I know, but y'all still like to pick on it. But even I hear Drew. So even <clears throat> let me tone it down. Even I will hear Drew sometimes say like say things or I just I don't want y'all to comment on it because it can get really bad. Okay, well, I don't come on it very much anymore, so that's, we have told that now. Okay. Anyway, so my dad, my dad, I'm standing there, and they're having a conversation, and I was, yes, I was very attracted to her, but I was just kind of it watching. It wasn't a conversation, it wasn't like, hi, how are you? No, no, was... I got, I got, they, they were having a conversation, and they basically, my, my dad um, essentially gets this chick's life story in a matter of 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, because we're, we're, if you ask me questions, I'm just an open book. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I just, everything that you ask me, I just, I just talk. I'll just talk. Verbally vomiting. Pretty much. Cool. Not a bad way. That's what it is. So they're talking. So mind you, it's lunchtime. So it's now probably 105, 110, whatever the case may be. There's a bowl of Hershey Hershey's Kisses is that's sitting. You comfortable, Ruby? There's a bowl of Hershey Kisses that is sitting in there. I think the bowl was blue. I don't remember that part. I think the bowl was blue. So I'm just like as if I'm watching a movie. They're sitting he's there talking. He's literally like he's eating popcorn. He's and popping I'm, Hershey Kisses. I'm popping Hershey Kisses. I'm hungry. You know, it's 1.15. I'm ready for lunch. We started We started early, so we started at like 7, 7.30, whatever. I was ready for lunch. I'm eating Hershey Kisses while they're talking. I start to feel... And I can see that she's getting a little uncomfortable. And I was like, okay, well, this is my this is an opportunity where I can kind of get my dad to be quiet, but then also invite her somewhere, see what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Before that happens, I'm the whole entire time I am calling this guy trying to see if he's back from lunch. The whole time I'm like, okay, okay, excuse me one second. Like, please, God, please, God, please be back. And then I was finally like, yes, he's back. And I'm like, okay, y'all can go ahead and go to the front. <clears throat> so you guys remember, I had already let y'all in the front, or in the back. I'd let y'all in the back. Remember? Yeah, so I came back out after that? You, I, 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 right. Yeah, I let okay. you go ahead in the back, and then you were gone. And I was like, okay, that was awkward. And then you came back. So then I came back and said, hey, um, I'm in a Christian band. I'm in a Christian band. And uh, we're going to be playing at this church coming up. And uh, I just gave her the little card. I think it was our... It was a post-it. No. It was a card. It was a card. I think it was a chosen road card. It might have been. You don't still have it? Did you throw it away? No, no, no. Please. I have it. I just can't remember because you've given me lots of post-its over the years and I've saved them. Yes. And so I can't remember. That might have been a card. I don't remember. It was a card. It was either a Kool Aid card or we had band cards made up, which is crazy. But um, so I and and just I said, hey, this is an easy. It's something for her to come to. It's pretty relaxed. It's not. Um, it wouldn't be uncomfortable. But we can. She can come to it and maybe hang out. So I invited her to come to the concert, and uh, so I gave her the card details and all that. And then uh, that was it. I was hopeful that she would come. Which she I was not gonna go. Not because planning on going. Not my jam. I am but not. But then I smiled at her. You smiled at me before you went back. And it sparkled. She saw a little sparkle. I did. I was like, dang, man. God, he's fine. That's what I thought. But I made sure, I made sure to tell him that, like, when we were talking, I was like, I'm a single mom of two kids. Divorced. I'm a divorced single mom of two kids. So you guys, a lot of you guys don't know that. We are a blended family. I was a single mom with my two older kids um, when he and I met. Yeah. And she thought I was going to scare me away. I sure did because I wasn't going to date somebody with kids. So I definitely didn't think somebody would date me Oh, with kids. what's funny is in, in that conversation, 
when they're talking and kind of, I'm getting to know her, all the details. And when she says that, she says, she asked me, so how old are you? Oh, yes. Yeah, so how, I said, how old are you? So, and I was 20 at the time. And I said, I'm 20. No, no, you were 21. You were 21. You said, I'm 20. You go. I said, do you have kids? You went, only 21. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So I was making it a point to say that I'm only 21. I wouldn't have kids, but. I'm like, I she, do. <laughs> she did. And she's, at the time you were 23. Four, no, you twenty-five. Mm -hmm. I was twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yep. I was twenty-five. That's right. Gosh, that's crazy, babe. Years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah. But that's the story of how we met, and uh, she she did come to the concert. After I, I I was like, I'm not gonna go to that concert. There's no way. And then she so went back and talked to her little friends at work and mm -hmm. were asking their opinion. And they were like, Girl, you should what call you think? Me. Should it go? Should it go? I'm like, no, like, no, I'm not gonna call because that's just not my thing. I don't I just am really shy. I would never do that. But then I felt this overwhelming feeling of like you should just give it a try. And so I did. And then the first time I took Isabella. Um mm -hmm. I was like, well, if I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure I take my kid because I want him to know that this is my priority right here. Right? And then she, we went and then we went back. We, you know, and then we started talking a little bit here and there. It was nothing like full speed. Like we just talked a little bit. Then <coughs> I think it started picking up a little bit. I don't remember. It, how we started dating. And we started dating, and then you were like, this is not right. Are we doing that? I thought this was just doing that. <laughs> we got to give them a teaser. Or a te not a teaser, uh, a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger. Because what will happen, or the story you may hear. Oh, this story gets really... Yeah, but thank you for watching this video. <laughs> and please subscribe and check out the next one. We will be doing um, this. I'm going to do a whole what series. What are we going to call them? A Get to Know Me series? We're just going to be doing... The Real game. White House. We're just going to be doing... That's our last name. Um, we're going to be doing a couple... Are they supposed to know that? Yes. No. <laughs> the in, invisible 16-year-old said no. I don't think it's... I think it's fine. Anyway. So we're going to be doing a couple of these. I just want you guys to get to know us. One of my main things on my channel and why I started my channel is because I wanted to connect with you guys. I wanted other women and um, mamas to feel like you guys know us and know me and that you're not doing this journey alone. So I wanted to kind of <coughs> give you a get to know us and you're going to know our story and everything we went through and hopefully it'll be able to uh, motivate you and encourage you in some way because our story gets really dark and twisty it does dark and twisty but thank god we have uh you know we've grown a lot and i'm really excited to share that with you so in our next video i'm going to share i'm going to share with y'all um us getting married and then what happens after getting married well a little bit before we get married yeah with the job yeah well you'll see you'll see yeah you'll see that'll be that's going to be next week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and you're new with me. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. 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 I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity.